continuing our look at the STCC exclusives uh, for this year, I wanted to show you this Jada Toys Booberry. Now, if you remember in the past, we did a video on Frankenberry and Count Chocula. So this completes our set of the most well-known of the monster cereal toys. Of course, we got Yummy Mummy in Fruit Brute. That's the Mummy and the Wolf, respectively. Uh, I don't know if we'll see those. <laughs> so we'll see how well these, these continue to do, but hopefully we could round out the line of monster cereal uh, characters. So checking out this box, similar to the um, Count Chocula and the Frankenberry. It has those uh, directions on it that make it look like the, the nutrition contents, but it's actually going over what's included in the box. And then you can see a little of the comic art on the one side and then the character in the back here. So uh, they kept it very similar, but you'll notice it's just a little bit smaller than the other boxes here. Uh, so not the worst, but he is a little bit smaller of a character. It would have been nice to have it in scale with the other two. I believe the front here, you can, it's a little textured. I think it glows in the dark because the figure glows in the dark. It's, it would be really hard for me to show you that, but I could show you a, a picture of that right here. So you can see the glowing box art. And then of course, consistent with the, the other ones, uh, Jada Toys kept that amazing magnet clasp. I just love that. Um, really gives it a premium feel here, but you can see the character on display in the window box here. And then again, a glowing logo. So they kept this great glowing theme throughout. He's Booberry, he's a ghost, he's got a glow. Uh, so uh, why don't we crack open this guy and check him out. All right, so Booberries get open fairly easy here. He's just one piece of tape on the top. So I'll just pop that open, see if it doesn't, uh, sometimes these cling on the sides when you tie to open them, these little taps at the top here. So that is happening a little bit. Oh, I lied, there's a second piece of tape, that's why. Sometimes I miss those. Um, third piece of tape, there we go. Okay, now it's open. Uh, wow, it's a lot of tape to miss. Uh, so I'm gonna slide this guy out here and he should just pop out fairly easy. Now I can feel texture on the box here so it glows as well. So let me show you front and back here, this little cereal box glowing up. Um, pretty nice. Uh, and then it has that mask, promotional mask in the back that is on some of the boxes and that glows as well. So they kept the glowing theme from, they went with maximum glow on this. Full glow. <laughs> so everything glows basically here. Uh, and then you have a stand because he's Booberry, he's gonna need to float. And then you have the character himself here. Um, the background again is gonna be all the monster serial characters. I think that was consistent between the other ones as well. So um, setting that aside here, we got our boy. I'm gonna put him on the stand and give you guys a close up while I'm doing that so you could check him out. Uh, he's got all his detail of Booberry, which is that little hat and bow ties, the only clothes he's wearing. And uh, that's basically it for our Booberry. And there's no other clothes on there. But this guy glows. I'll have to show you a um, picture because I don't know if I'll get a rotating video of him glowing because <laughs> he's just, uh, it would be really hard to pull that lighting off <laughs> in the dark of doing a video. I don't think it'd come out as well. So I'll give you some pictures here of him glowing. Uh, but uh, that's really the gimmick for this character. I don't know if they have a standard, more translucent version be nice to have like a crystal blue with a darker blue middle of a non-glowing version, but we'll see. This was their exclusive release. Maybe there'd be a wide release. I have no idea. But why don't we come in and we can check out his articulation and see this guy off in a little more detail. So looking at Booberry's uh, accessories here, you can see that cereal box again with that glow in the dark feature on the front and back. And then the main man himself. Of course, he could pivot a little bit on this ball joint that is connecting him. And then his hands turn. His arms will move in and out here because they're on a little bit of a hinge. And then the head will turn. And that is the extent of his articulation. Uh, these figures aren't really, I mean, action figures in the traditional sense. They're more of display. So you could do a little bit of display with him. Uh, let's see if he could hold the box. I didn't try that out yet. Um, with a little struggling effort, I bet you could maneuver the hands enough to get him to be able to grab this box but it looks like he can't really hold it. The other characters you could, with a little bit of effort, get them to hold on to the box, but because the, he doesn't really have any grabbing hands, he can't hold his own box of cereal. He could, uh, I guess you can maneuver it in sideways and he could hold it this way, but that's really it. So this is more meant to be displayed off to the side. It's an accessory and not necessarily a 
a useful accessory for him. But that is basically the Boo Berry figure. Um, I like it. It's a fun addition to the collection. I don't know if they're doing a general release. This is their Comic-Con exclusive. You could also pick this up on Entertainment Earth. So another way to grab it there. And that concludes our look at Boo Berry, the latest in the Jader Toys Monster Serials collection. Uh, of course, this was an STCC exclusive. But like I mentioned, if you want to get it, you should get it through Entertainment Earth. They're taking pre-orders on it right now, so you'll be able to pick him up when he ships, I believe in uh, shortly after the con, so either in the next couple weeks or in early August. Um, so pick him up if you want to score him. Unclear if they're going to make a standard release uh, non-glowing-in-the-dark version, but the glowing-in-the-dark works as he's a ghost. Uh, again, when this comes in stock, you can use our code COOLTOY22 and get 10% off of him as well. Uh, I believe he's only going to be around $22 or somewhere in that range. So uh, you won't be able to um, get free shipping unless you make it $39. So think about grabbing something else while you're on Entertainment Earth and get that free shipping, take advantage of it. Uh, but again, awesome magnetic clasp on that box like they have with all their Monster Cereals line. And you get this great box, which I'm, I obviously kept the other ones because they had that great cereal look to them. Make a great Halloween display piece. Now having all three of the core Monster Cereal characters, you could have a nice little display in your house come Halloween time or any time. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Uh, but they come with that own individual cereal and then the character here. So they would be a great set finally together. And then we'll be hopefully looking for Fruit Brew and Yummy Mummy at some point, round out all the monsters. And then we could have that Monster Mash. <laughs> that would be a great set if they did the limited edition Monster Mash as a set as well. Uh, but that's all for this time. As always, like, subscribe, and follow. We're going to be having more of SDCC exclusive reviews coming to you guys in the next couple of weeks. And then we'll be back on track with our regular reviews as well of new and um, just recently new releases. So tune back for that. If there's something you guys want to see, let me know. I'll try to make that happen as well. Uh, that's all for this time. We'll see you guys soon.